Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a beautiful Friday morning here in uh, Austin, Texas. This is day 864 of the three plus minutes of Planks Challenge. And as always, I am filled with gratitude. Those are my mind this morning. Um, a couple of days ago, I ended up going to lunch uh, with two new friends, uh, Meg and Stacy. Um, I've met Meg over the December. Uh, she works with the Live Strong Foundation and uh, we've just been connecting back and forth for a few months now. Um, a lot of what my life in this moment is about service, uh, service to others. And um, so in understanding that, one of the things that I started to do was understand that being comfortable, being uncomfortable, like making new friends, having new conversations, uh, being vulnerable, being transparent, things of the sort, getting away from my lies. Um, I told Stacy one thing the other day, uh, something that I needed to process myself uh, because though I'd known it, in saying it in the moment, it really gave me a moment to think about things in my life. I told her that I was in a situation where I was so scared of a certain particular thing happening, uh, most specifically in my marriage, that I eventually manifested it. And the, the fear that I, I was trying to avoid was the exact thing that happened in my life. And um, I'm expressing that because our minds, our bodies, our spirits, our soul go directly to the things that we think about. So if we are operating in a space of fear, those are the things that will happen to us. But on the reverse side, if we operate in a space of abundance, of love, of prosperity, those are the things that will come to you. And they may not come to you in the moment that you want to. They may not come to you in the, in the fashion that you want it to, but ultimately it will come to you. And I remember realizing this, and even, even a little prior to this, I realized realizing it, but in the all totality, I had to be the truest version of myself, the most authentic version of myself, which meant specifically, I had to stop lying to myself and understanding that my value is immense if I allow my value to be immense. And so, that's just my thought for you today. Think about the things that you put your mind on, the people that you put your mind on, and think about whether or not you're coming from a place of fear or coming from a place of love. And once you realize that, direct it to where you need it to be, and life becomes amazing. Anyway, thoughts on my mind. As always, be blessed today and every day. Talk to you soon.